fishing fans, this is Debbie Hansen for TakeMeFishing.org and today we're going to talk about a few conservation basics. You might be surprised to learn that the simple act of purchasing your fishing license helps to contribute towards fishing conservation efforts such as enhancing water quality and maintaining healthy fish habitats. However, there's a few other fishing conservation basics you should know. Always be sure to check the fishing regulations for your state and local area. By checking the state regulations, you won't mistakenly keep fish that are oversized or undersized, and you'll know exactly what the correct seasons and bag limits are for each species. This includes knowing how to identify different fish species and having a measuring device along with you so that you can properly measure your catch. Ask yourself if you really need to keep all the fish that are within the legal regulations that you catch or if it makes more sense to practice proper catch and release. Smart catch and release techniques will help ensure the survival of any non-invasive fish you catch. When fish are released healthy and continue to reproduce, this plays a major role in conserving our fish populations. If you do decide to keep fish that are within the legal regulations, be sure to only keep what you and your family plan to eat. When practicing catch and release using natural baits, use circle hooks whenever possible. Because of the way circle hooks are shaped with the tip of the hook pointed inward, they reduce the chances that a fish will swallow the hook and suffer internal injuries. Handle fish with wet bare hands if you must handle them. Never use a towel or a cloth because it will remove the fish's protective slime coat. The protective slime coat is one of the fish's main defenses against infection and disease. Pack out what you pack in, meaning pack out any trash and use fishing line or tackle after a fishing trip. Many public boat ramps even have recycling bins for monofilament fishing lines that you can use. Take part in volunteer conservation efforts such as waterway and beach cleanup events. There are many local, national, and government organizations that coordinate waterway cleanup efforts that you can get involved in. Most importantly, set a good example of conservation and share your conservation knowledge with other anglers and boaters. These fish and conservation basics will help you make better decisions about fishing, our ecosystems, and preserving healthy fish populations. For more information about conservation, just head on over to the fishing and conservation pages at takemefishing.org.